Hello. A few things about Asperger's that I think people don't understand. And I wanted to get straight with some people that maybe are kind of aching to understand Asperger's a little bit better. Though Asperger's people might already know all these things anyway. But, okay, Asperger's people are very literal. I had a friend once tell me to call him back later. He did not want me to call him back later. He wanted me to stop calling him. He tells me to call him back later. Guess what I do? I call him back later and one day he yells at me and says he doesn't want to talk to me. I ask why. Because you're fucking me! And, you know, he just thought he was handling it right. Like he was giving a hint, right? No. I was doing what he told me to do. And, okay, hint. I was at massage school. And we were looking at cadavers. Um, we were passing, we were actually passing organs around, like a heart. And this one girl was holding a heart up, talking about it. And, you know, we're supposed to be able to touch everything, right? So I just think it's okay for, for me to touch it, you know. And while she was talking, which I guess was inappropriate, and she asked me something about whether I want to hold it or something. And I'm like, oh no, I just want to touch it. And like six classmates yell at me all at once and say, like, let her finish! Because, you know, they all got that that was a hint. And I just was answering her question. You know what I mean? Like, don't, why ask me a question? We just want me to stop doing it. I. I don't really understand not straightforward people, especially women when they're very vague, but I don't like girls that way, so I guess I'm okay with that. Stimulus overload. Uh, test taking. Holy crap, do I, do I not like taking tests, especially if there's any noise? I have to take silent tests, and now a lot of schools are recognizing autism, and, and I, I started taking advantage of that and, and doing silent tests and just going in a separate room, which was good for me recently. I didn't realize that I had problems with that until more recently. That was some more new information. Um, but, uh, and you can't talk in a car with someone with autism with a radio on, and I have a hard time with my martial arts. They, they have loud music playing, they have kids running around, but I just kind of try to separate it the best I can. But, you know, if it was up to me, there would be no music playing at all. Um, it is very difficult, and I'll try to get as far away from the music as I can. I've gotten a little bit better about that, but it's, it's still an issue. And I'll always na nicely ask someone if they can just turn the car music off because that's difficult for me to <laughs> pay attention to them, especially if it's in a car. And OCDs. Um, my mom would kind of avoid things instead of talk about them when she was embarrassed. She's like a proud Christian woman, I noticed. And if she was really embarrassed about something, she wouldn't want to talk about it and she'd just avoid talking about it. And for me, it's like I'd never get resolution and then I'd want to talk about it again. You know, you, you kind of, you got to let people talk things out, especially Asperger's people, but you also got to understand that they're not trying to be mean, I don't think, at least in my experience, like, and then that's sort of a different thing is that I would also be unusually blunt and, you know, I still suffered with that the last couple of years of my relationship and I didn't realize I was being unnecessarily blunt and in my mind there was just one way to say things and, you know, that's something that my boyfriend has had to tell me is just say, whoa, that's not really a nice way to say that, here's a better way. and. That's something that people can kind of guide people through with Asperger's. And, um, oh, and I had one other example of a fixation <laughs> written that I wasn't allowed to see the movie Scream when it came out. I must have been around 13, what? And everybody was talking about it. And I really wanted to see it. And I was so obsessed with seeing it. I told, asked so many people about it. I, I knew, like, basically a good summary of both the first movies before the second one came on Showtime. And I paid a friend to buy me the first one and saw it behind my mom's back, finally, because I couldn't just not see it and I had waited a really long time and I couldn't get it out of my head. And you know, the, I don't think that my parents really understood just how important that was and that I was gonna end up doing it behind their back in their mind, you know, they were just gonna say it and it just wasn't gonna happen. No, it was too important for that. And I tried to not think about it for a long time and I just couldn't stop thinking about it for some reason and I ended up seeing that order. <laughs> Anyway, I hope that that is helpful about some fixations and some things. Bye now.